former Prime Minister Yukio Hatoyama has a vision for greater collaboration between Asian nations. He's with us now at the Asian Investment Conference. Former Prime Minister, tell us about your vision for more collaboration between Asian nations and the creation of an East Asian community. Ever since I was a Prime Minister, I was always promoting the idea of establishing East Asian community. Right now, uh, currently, uh, Japan, we cannot really necessarily say that Japan has a great relationship with China or Korea. But having said that, I think we, there are many things we can do together. So in order to establish a friendly, amicable relationship with neighboring countries, I think there are many things we can do. And first of all, uh, it's really uh, it's very important to make an effort to uh, establish better relationship in order to ensure uh, the security in the region, and also in order to act, uh, promote you know further economic prosperity uh, within the Asian country. And uh, in Asia, we have uh, you know all nations have a different value compared to the one of the uh, Europe and the U.S. So therefore, we have a more uh, we tend to. Uh, cooperate and also work together and we put importance in harmony. So I think uh, if we try, even in Asia, we can uh, make something similar to the EU. Uh, EU, we can make some sort of like a community uh, within the region. This is not impossible. By doing so, I think we can further promote and ensure a better economy and a better security. And I think you know, this idea would make the whole region much better. You spoke about the economic benefits. How will this improve the livelihoods of the people of Japan? Past 20 years, Japanese economy has been stagnant. Uh, we didn't see uh, uh, very much of a growth for the past 20 years. As a Prime Minister, I have been always uh, emphasizing on these three factors in order to make a Japanese economy uh, growing again. One is green or environmental innovation, and the second was a life innovation. Uh, this means we can take advantage of our aging society and also we can make uh, the livelihood of those aging uh, populations uh, much better. And also the third one is uh, uh, strength the ties, uh, economic ties with the Asian nations. Uh, this, I believe, in Asian economic growth would basically uh, lead to uh, Japanese economic growth eventually. Japan had a tough year in 2012, still reeling from the earthquake and tsunami of March 2011. Prime Minister Abe has recently announced his three arrows for growth approach. Can he succeed? Of course, I would like to see his plan to be successful, and of course they have to, they must succeed. Because uh, Japanese people have been uh, quite pessimistic for the longest time. And for, for the first time in a long time, after Mr. Abe uh, became a prime minister, the Japanese stock market performance has been uh, much better, and also the uh, Japanese public is becoming uh, more uh, optimistic. So I hope you know, this uh, trend will continue and that would lead us to a uh, better economy. Now, having said that, there are a few things we have to keep in mind and we have to be careful about. One is uh, after the, uh, the Great Eastern uh, Earthquake incident in Japan, there was a nuclear plant accident, but this issue hasn't been fully resolved. Therefore, Japanese public needs to be better informed about the current status of this incident and an accident. And also, in order to have sustainable economic growth, uh, not, Japanese, uh, not just Japanese corporation needs to do better performance, uh, but they have to also implement a structural reform within their company. Without this, uh, those his plan would not be, become successful. Thank you, former Prime Minister. For more insights from thought leaders, check out the Asian Investment Conference website.